Okay, hi. So this week, for what hypothesis did you test and what exper experiment slash test did you conduct? This week, we wanted to see if people would be open to having all of the housing information in one spot. So we went around and we asked people three questions. One, if they've been through the housing process. Two, um, if they have been through it, then what was their process like and what did they think of it? And three, would they be open to having somewhere where all the housing information is in one place, like something like an app? Um, for the, uh, the next thing, what key learnings did you um, have from the test or experience you collected? We found out that people are really like the amount of information that's out there about housing, but they think that there's way too many websites and that it's kind of like disorganized and kind of irritating because it's such a long process and there's so many options out there. So they would be really interested in something like this. And the hypothesis that was validated was that people would prefer an app over a website because an app on, would be on their phone and they'd always have it with them and time is really important when you're communicating with the landlord and so they'd be able to keep up to date and um, get in contact with the landlord quicker. Um, and then for who did we speak to and what did we learn about them? So I spoke to my friend who um, she has already gone through the housing process. She li currently lives in an apartment so I kind of wanted to see what she went through um, since she has one now and rather than asking again someone who hasn't been through the process yet. Um, so she said that she found an apartment, she really liked it, um, however when she found the apartment um, it was not as, as it was advertised on the website. Um, the landlord doesn't come around that often, there's parties um, on hours that aren't supposed to happen and it's kind of uh, very irritating so she's looking for a new apartment. And, um, for me, I've been talking mostly with international students living at High House, just like me. And what they said is like uh, their home university recommends the international house because it's a, a good place to live in. But the thing is, um, they don't know anything about the alternative options that they have. So sometimes international house is just like a default option. And uh, usually, even if High House is a bit too expensive, they're just they don't they lack the energy and the time to find more. Uh, about the other outing options because there is no one uh, app centralizing all the information that they have. So international students would be interested in that too. Um, and then any notes of the assignments that you worked on this week? Um, basically that we found out that people really do like the um, app idea and um, for our working on our MVPs we did really like the um, Dropbox video found um, that you presented in class and also the email idea which we had um, thought about earlier when we were on doing our business model canvas so we're gonna probably go forward with either one or both of those yeah. and also if we stay with an app I think a good MVP would be like a daily report uh, with like push notifications or something that would um, talk about our preferences and say if there are like updates on housing options that we particularly like. Yeah, and then next week we're going to be talking to landlords and renters and real estate agents um, and we're going to be testing whether they actually would be interested in using this site. Um, it really depends on them like buying in and submit and like being involved in the site for it to be successful. So we're going to go forward next week and make sure that it's something that they want. And yeah, that's about it. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.